Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, let's talk about the pros and cons of a low carb diet. A low carb diet limits carbs such as those found in sugary meals, processed foods, pasta, and bread among other things. A low carb diet may help you lose weight and improve your overall health. However, there are some possible drawbacks to this diet. In this video, we will discuss the benefits and drawbacks of a low carb diet. Benefits of low carb diets are Following a low carb diet may have various advantages. Number 1, weight loss. Losing weight is one of the most popular reasons people adopt a low carb diet and low carb diet has the potential in losing weight. A low carb diet may result in more calorie restriction and weight reduction than a low fat diet. Next benefit is appetite reduction. Reduced hunger and appetite is another major advantage of low carb diets. This is most likely because when you eliminate carbohydrates from your diet, your body begins to burn fat for energy, which may assist to manage hunger hormones. Next benefit is insulin sensitivity is improved. A low carb diet may assist people with type 2 diabetes increase their insulin sensitivity and helps to keep the blood sugar under control. Next benefit is reduced triglycerides. Triglycerides are a form of fat that is present in the blood. High triglyceride levels are linked to an increased risk of heart disease. A low carb diet may help decrease triglyceride and cholesterol levels. After discussing the benefits of low carb diets, the drawbacks or cons of low carb diets are as follows. A low carb diet has some possible advantages, but it also has some potential drawbacks. Number 1. Gastrointestinal Problems You may encounter gastrointestinal difficulties such as constipation, diarrhea or nausea when you first begin a low-carb diet. This is often the result of your body adapting to the new diet. These adverse effects usually decrease within a few weeks. Next drawback is having trouble committing to the diet. A low-carb diet might be difficult to maintain over time. If you are not attentive, you can also lose out on crucial nutrients like fiber. Cutting of carbs may be difficult and frequently results in cravings and hunger. Moreover, while your body adapts to the new diet, a low-carb diet might cause fatigue and irritation. So, these were some of the benefits and drawbacks of a low-carb diet. As you can see, there are some positive and negative aspects to consider before going on this type of diet. So if you are thinking of going on a low carb diet, consult with your doctor or a qualified dietitian first to be sure it's good for you. Making a low carb diet work for you There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of success if you want to adopt a low carb diet. Before you begin, make sure you are well prepared. This involves filling your pantry with low-carb foods and preparing your meals ahead of time. Second, be realistic about your goals. Set a reasonable goal for yourself if you are attempting to reduce weight and don't expect to lose weight overnight. Finally, be flexible. If you are having trouble sticking to your diet, don't be hesitant to make changes. You may need to slightly boost your carb consumption or include a few cheat meals here and there. The most essential thing is to find a diet that works for you and that you can stick to over time. Thanks for watching. Good luck.